Hey guys, it's Andrew. Welcome to my kitchen. Guys, life gave me lemons. Let's do something with them. I'm so excited for this video. I don't know what you took away from the title and thumbnail. Preserved lemons. We're talking preserved lemons today, guys. This has been sitting in my cupboard for a year since last year. I don't know. I have a photo. I'll put a date. Oh, it's written right here. 318.19. So, what are preserved lemons? You may be wondering right now. Preserved lemons um, is an ingredient in Moroccan cuisine. It comes from Northern Africa. I guess that's obvious because that's where Morocco is. Um, <laughs> essentially what you do is you take lemons. We're basically like lacto-fermenting them um, in a salt brine. So we take lemons, we cut X's into them, stuff them with salt, just, just like, gosh, the big um, did that make sense? Like, strangle, like, like, just like, mm. Yeah, I guess that really... Really getting the salt in there. Anyways, the salt draws out all of the liquid, um, and then you got a salt brine. You got an acidic salt brine, and then, uh, you let the lemon set for, set for a couple months, um, or a year. <laughs> so actually, through some reading, it seems common that most people only let it sit for about, like, six months max. Um, but some chefs do say that they let it sit out longer and they like that more, so we'll see. Could this be bad? Yes, but I don't think so. Good, okay. <laughs> good, good, good. Great, okay. And then basically, what you're using is the rinds. You don't really use the inside of the lemon, you use like the pith and the rinds. When you preserve lemons, it turns into something that like you cannot get from like just a normal lemon. Like it's, it's not lemon juice, it's not the peel, it's like a whole new thing. My preserved lemon journey started um, many years ago. One of my favorite restaurants from my hometown, St. Louis, is Olio. They, it's like a Mediterranean restaurant. It used to be a gas station, it was converted. You know, it's like hip. Love that place. Um, I had a sandwich that I just could not stop thinking about. It's been years since I ate this sandwich. I have a photo of it somewhere, I'll put it up. Um, so that's, that's the sandwich, that's the date, I ate the sandwich, haven't stopped thinking about it. Incredible sandwich, they changed their menu, I only ate it once. Very sad, I want it again. It was essentially like a zucchini cheese preserved lemon sandwich, um, I think. Or they were just really like serving up lemon rind. But I'm pretty sure it was preserved. <laughs> Anyways, I've been thinking about it ever since. It wasn't until that I have this, I moved into this house with a lemon tree, um, a Meyer lemon tree, mm, such a blessing, that I finally decided to try it. So, the, today, the, what we are doing, guys, we're, I feel like we're going on a field trip. I'm so excited for this video. We're gonna go outside, we're gonna pick the lemons. I got this, I'm gonna be sitting there on the ground like, lemon. Oh my God, we're gonna wash them. And then we're gonna preserve them. And then I'm gonna be like, but wait, I have one from last year. Let's, it's done, try it. You know, like how on cooking shows, they're like, let's put it in the oven. Oh wait, here's another one. It's like that, oh my God, so excited. <laughs> this one I seasoned with um, bay leaf, peppercorn, coriander, and fennel, but I think the one I'm gonna do today, I'm just gonna do like a basic salt and lemon, so it's more versatile. And then, I'm gonna make some hummus. A preserved lemon, quick little hummus, just to try it out. Maybe we'll make some lemonade too. Guys, what a, what a goddamn fun time. I feel, I feel like Oprah. Like, oh my God, I'm about to go fill this big wooden thing and then be like, ugh, can't wait. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> We're going outside. We're here, I got the scissors, got my water bottle, spilled some water on my shirt. Come on. The lighting is in fact horrible. Okay, yeah, I was kind of wondering. Alrighty, we're out here. This is the tree. How does this look? Honestly, you look like a sexy little Tumblr girl. Right? Oh my, I feel like, I feel like a Disney princess. I feel like, like not Cinderella, but the one in like the cabin with like the animals and like the little people. Jersey Shore? <laughs> this guy we got on the ground. We got some other little guys on the ground. Look at these tiny little lemons that fell. Oh, this never became a lemon. <laughs> oh my God, guys, before we start, we have a grapefruit. Look at this big ass grapefruit. This is just a big ass grapefruit. It's huge. Oh, we got a little grapefruit. Little grapefruit. 
<laughs> you just served major horse girl energy, like <laughs> equivalents. Just wanted to get that anecdote out of the way. Very excited. Just one grapefruit on this whole tree. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Hey. Hey. Oh my god. I feel like I'm in like call me by your name. <laughs> I feel like I'm like adopting babies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's one way of looking at clipping a lemon tree. <laughs> you ready for this? This slow clump? I don't know if I'm ready. Oh! Hi. <laughs> Hi, neighbor <laughs> horse girl. I'm fruit boy. <laughs> Wait, how many? Okay. I was gonna say, do we need to clip all of them? <laughs> yeah, no. Because we'll just... literally have a kitchen full of lemons. Oh my god, we have so many lemons. Oh my god, we have so many lemons. Guys, I love... Whatever. No, we know. Yeah. You're on your knees for it already, I mean. Okay. And now you're praying. <laughs> I just, like, I really want to, like, savor this moment. I, like, feel like I'm in a movie. Clip, clip. I feel like I'm finally home. Well, you're at home. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, this is all adding up. Do I, put, do I stop recording? I don't know. I'm vibing so hard. I'm like really not thinking as straight as I thought I would be. I don't think you've ever thought straight. <laughs> <laughs> Got a little leaf on this one? Oh my god, that looks like an emoji. Wait, that one like really is really pretty. Gorgiana. I just feel like I'm out on a farm. I don't feel like I'm in Los Angeles. Granted, we can hear the highway. Um, but yeah, no, <laughs> it's definitely uh, what I think is ocean waves. <laughs> The smell, oh my god, the smell of like a Meyer lemon. Mm. I have a habit of like when we have citrus fruit in the home, digging my nails into it, or just doing a quick little And then it gets bruised and there's like a lot of lines on it after a couple of days of that. So. <laughs> it is not so good. You give me like some weird nature boy drug dealer vibe. <laughs> mm. This is like when I put that pot of soup on my lap. I don't know what it is. I love getting food and then putting it on my lap. Mm. Hello. All right, let's go back in and wash these. That's the dirt stain on your butt. All right, you guys, got my potato scrubber. Just gonna get them nice and clean. Okay. Mm. All right, I have nothing to say really. I'm just vibing. So I'm gonna turn the camera off and I will let you know when, or I'll come back when, it, I mean, it'll cut. You know, I mean, okay, you get what's happening. Cut. All right, so. We got all of our lemons washed here. Um, before we like get situated and settled in, I'm gonna wash the jar we're gonna put it in. I get so stressed out when I'm like washing materials for fermentation, but I'm pretty sure we don't have to do like a major sanitation. We can just like soap it. I'm not really sure. I think it's like so salty and briny that it, it, it'll all be fine and nothing funky will happen. Okay, I'm just gonna wash it. Okay, we got the jar nice and something on the jar. Sorry. I just washed my hands. Do you care if I squeeze a lemon through it for lemonade? Do you want lemonade? No, probably not. I'm just grabbing some sugar and some glasses. Oh wait, do you want lemonade? I personally don't. Okay. Do you want me to have lemonade? <laughs> is the question. I'll just like, I want you to try it, right? Like, that would be fun. Yeah. Can I put vodka in it? Yeah. Woo! Okay. Um, Siri, what does it mean when your roommate does that when they pick up a knife? <laughs> Should we use this big one? This is like funky. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> it's funny, it's, it's your like video. It's different than the rest. It's like kind of more like a sumo mandarin. <gasps> what is it? What? Why is it? Why is the pith so big? Why are lemons have small pits? We got a weird one, guys. Oh my god. Do you think like... No. Never mind, that's not how plants work. Uh, 
Okay. <laughs> as curious as I am, I know not to ask. <laughs> oh, that's what you meant by, do you care? Yeah, no, I definitely mind. Oh. No. <laughs> Your hand being my sieve. I just washed it. Honestly, like... Oh my god. Wait, what? This is, when I did it this, we had like a church lemonade stand and like we did it like this. Jesus didn't die for that bitch. <laughs> Okay, so there was a better way to juice this lemon. So, I like, I definitely don't want any... <laughs> Andrew! It's it's falling apart. I, it's like, this one is weird. It's weird because you threw it in a fucking glass. Triple fingered it. I mean... I'm gonna try it. I... Okay. I would throw some water in. Special. Oh my god. Oh my god. I feel like a cover girl. Alright, let's move. This was just supposed to be a quick little thing. Okay, let's start making the preserved lemon. Never mind. Yes. What you're gonna need besides the lemons and the clean jar is a bowl and kosher salt. I love diamond crystal salt. Guys, I ran out of it during quarantine and then I didn't have it for a few weeks and I was very sad. Okay, so first I'm just gonna go ahead and start by putting a little salt down there. I'm not gonna measure anything. I, if you look up a recipe, there will probably be measurements, but I feel like this is more of a technique. It's just like lemons and a lot of salt and then get the juices up. You can add seasonings, but I'm not going to. Well, I might throw in like a bay leaf. So you wanna, you wanna cut the tip like that and then make an X, stopping, stopping about a centimeter from the bottom um, so it's still all attached. So put it in the lemon. Let's get it on down there. That's good, nice and salty lemon. I'm gonna throw that down in there. And then another one. And then that. And then like that. All right, so I got this wooden, what is this? A, what would you call this? Like a, a spork? I got this wooden spork. Just gonna press down on this. I could be doing this wrong, but I also don't think it matters. Like, if people have been doing this for hundreds of years, I think we can figure it out. Let's throw this other one in. Okay, this is really getting redundant. Cue the time lapse with occasional anecdotal breaks from the time lapse. I'm gonna throw a bay leaf in. Okay, wow, we are like at the top. I'm just gonna do this one last small one. Okay, time lapse over. There's enough to do a second one. Oh my god, I'm gonna do the second one and I'll season it differently. Okay, it's really important that you get your lemons fully covered with their juices. Um, if your lemons aren't juicy enough, you can take another lemon and then just add some lemon juice. Also, I think you can just add some water, but I also have heard, I've seen people say you can't. So, have fun. The rest of this lemon juice in. Here, I'll just like do a little salt top. It's really nice. Stay down. All right, I got the lid, I got the gasket. I is this a gasket? I don't... My brain was just like, here's a word. And then I said it. I don't think I've ever said the word gasket before. Gasket. Oh my god! Guys, the subconscious just fucking kills it every time. My brain is constantly serving me words and I'm like, are you sure? I've never said that before. And then it, it's right. <laughs> gasket lid. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was... Oh my god, that was sexy. Alright, first one down. Oh, let me label it. Okay, what's the date? May 1st. Let's go spice shopping. All right, this time, let's do some peppercorns. Oh, I don't have, I have like nothing. What is this? Okay, I have this little jar of something. What is it? Hello? I tasted nothing. Are you coriander? It doesn't smell like anything. Are you mustard? You know what, guys? We're having fun with the second one. I don't know what it is, but let's put it in. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of fennel seeds. And I'll do another bay leaf. Alright, I'm gonna do another time lapse because we're, it's just the same thing. So, time lapse. Boom. What a mess. <laughs> okay. Alright, guys. That was it. Okay, let me 
clean up because I'm like, try, I'm professional. All right guys, it's time for the cooking show trick where I, oh, I guess it's already pulled out and I guess I've already talked about it. The one from last year. Wow, fun, right? Like we just did it and then I'm like, go on. Well, All right, so in this one, I put a bay leaf, coriander, peppercorn, and fennel. Um, so similar to the one I just did there. I'm like so nervous to open this. <laughs> From March 18th, 2019 is when I put the lid on it. This could literally be like putrid. We could open it and it could smell like vomit. I mean, I don't think it will. I actually have no, I have no idea what kind of smell to expect from this. Wow. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. Is it gonna like pop? Oh my God, I bet it is. Wow. Okay. I'm like nervous. It's like a time capsule. I'm talking just so fast. I know. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna shut up and do it. Okay, it's stuck. Ugh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> oh, we got it, we got it, we got it. Okay, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I wish you guys could smell this. What the fuck? All right, let's get it. Let's get a thing out. Oh my god. Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so soft. <laughs> get off. We don't want you. Look at that. Pickled lemon. This is right from my yard. Same, same tree. Oh, I guess I'm gonna blend this, so I don't really need to do that. Okay, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. Oh my god, it's so salty. Oh, I think you're supposed to rinse them first. <laughs> Is it focusing? Is that it's doing anything for the audience? <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so as I said at the beginning of this video, I'm gonna just try this in a quick hummus. I don't, I think that would be good, right? Yes. So when I usually make hummus, I usually start with dried garbanzo beans instead of like cans. That way you can like add in flavors like some crushed garlic into the pot, some salt, some lemon peel, some olive oil. Um, and then I feel like that just gets so much flavor. Those are like my favorite chickpeas. It makes a bomb hummus. We can't do that now. So I'm just gonna show you guys a quick hummus. I don't really use a recipe. You just do it. Put some tahini in, it's too thick, add some aquafaba or some water, add some olive oil, flavor it, taste it. Just gonna put this can of chickpeas in. All right, with this one, I'm gonna save some of the aquafaba. Gonna add a couple tablespoons of tahini. I really feel like you don't need to measure it. Just like blend, taste, blend. Some garlic, I'll do like three cloves maybe. All right, gonna throw in a little bit of olive oil. Mm. Love this food processor. I know I say that every time I use it, but wow. Pouring in some aquafaba. All right, I'm gonna squeeze in a little bit of fresh lemon juice too, because I feel like that would, you know, why not get all of the flavors that lem a lemon can provide? Wow. Mm. All right, I was gonna save the last quarter for, I wanted to try it in a salad dressing, but I, I think it could use more. So why not? Doing the whole lemon. Okay, I'm gonna let this run for like a while. You know, we want it to be creamy and I'm gonna clean up. All right, you guys, toasted up some sourdough. Let's, let's enjoy. Wow, wow, wow. I feel like I'm about to eat something so special. It's like a, a year in the making. Wow, don't mind if I do. Oh my God, that's so good. Wow, guys, time really be making things better. All right, guys, I think that's the end of our journey today. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Thank you. Guys, in like a few months or so, I'll like vibe it out. Maybe like after a month, I'll put them in the fridge. I don't know, but anyways, I'll use these on my channel at some point. Mm. I'll see you guys next week. I hope you enjoyed. Follow me on Instagram for more food stuff and also not food stuff. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Goodbye. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh.